Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Referral Exchange Networking's Business Enrichment Series. As we know, it isn't always to compete with companies that are bigger than you and have greater resources. However, one advantage that we can have is we can be smarter than, than they are. No one can tell you how much you can learn or how much of an expert and an asset you can be. That's why education is critical for small businesses. And that's why we at Referral Exchange strive to make you just a little smarter every week. So let's get right to it. This week, we are talking about decision-making, discernment, critical thinking, and an open mind. Now, in our businesses, we make decisions every day. Most of them are relatively unimportant and require little thought. However, some of the choices that we make are important and our business success depends on making the correct choices. Now, there are three keys to success for making important decisions. Discernment, critical thinking, and an open mind. All of, now, all of us want to believe we possess an open mind. We think that we're receptive to different ideas, different arguments, and information. However, being open-minded isn't as easy as it seems. Most of us tend to seek consistency in our attitudes and perceptions. And to possess an open mind, we must be able to learn new things that may conflict with our current beliefs and our understandings. So as we struggle to be open-minded, we can become confused. Mental discomfort, or what is termed cognitive dissonance, occurs when we hold two conflicting values or beliefs or attitudes at the same time. Now, an open mind goes hand in hand with critical thinking. Critical thinking is necessary if we want to be sure that we're making the correct decision or following the best course of action for our business. As explained in skillsyouneed.com, critical thinking requires you to be an active learner rather than a passive one and to successfully use your reasoning abilities. Critical thinking is not about just the accumulation of facts and knowledge. And it's not about learning something one time, such as math times tables, and never needing to update or revise that information. Critical thinking involves a way of considering something at a particular time. And it may require you to abandon beliefs previously held because they now conflict at this time or in this particular situation with your new information. The skills you need for critical thinking are varied and they may include observation, analysis, interpretation, reflection, evaluation, inference, explanation, problem solving, and decision making. However, being open-minded and applying critical thinking are only two of the legs of that three-legged stool that we all need to make good decisions. You also need discernment. Now, discernment is the ability to recognize the small details, accurately tell the difference between similar things, and make intelligent judgments by using those observations. Many writers correlate discernment with judgment or knowing intuitively what is right and what is wrong. C.H. Surgeon, an influential member of the British clergy in the 1800s, when he was considering right from wrong, he added the caveat and knowing the difference between right and almost right. So simply knowing the definitions of critical thinking, discernment, and open-mindedness, not enough. We need to continually practice these skills and apply them in our business and personal lives. With all of the false information, the alternate facts, the misleading communications that we're exposed to every day, more than ever, we need to apply these essential tools when making critical decisions that will influence the future of our businesses. To quote C.H. CH Surgeon once more, wisdom is the right use of knowledge. To know is not to be wise. Many men know a great deal and are all the greater fools for it. But to know how to use knowledge is to have wisdom. So I would ask you to ask yourself three questions this coming week. Regarding open-mindedness, are there any beliefs you hold that you need 
to reconsider, especially related to your business. Number two, are there any important decisions you need to make where you should be using critical thinking? And finally, have you made any decisions that in retrospect could have benefited from more careful discernment? And if so, can you revisit them? Well, that's it for this week. I hope you got something out of it. If you'd like to talk about anything you just heard or you'd like to know how you can grow your business by joining a referral exchange networking chapter or even how to start your own chapter, reach out to me at raustin at referralexchangenetworking.com. That's exchange with an X. All right. Well, I hope everybody got something out of that. And um, hopefully we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.